What's up guys? We are back and today we're just gonna try some weird, interesting candy snack type foods. Um, it is Father's Day. You see we have our matching Jurassic Park shirts on, our little Jurassic Park Hawaiian style shirts on. Pretty cool um, for Father's Day. And <clears throat> we've got one, two, three, four. We have five different, five different uh, kind of odd, weird snacks that we're just gonna try today. So we got water just to kind of cleanse the palate as we taste these things. So the first one we're gonna start off with isn't necessarily weird, but it's a classic. He's never had it before. I had these a lot when I was a kid. These are original classic candy buttons. Now, anyone who doesn't know what these are, it's literally like a little crunchy piece of hard sugar candy, but they look like little buttons and they're on a sheet of paper. You literally have to rip them off. And as a kid, I can remember hating them because I would always try to, to peel one off without getting any of the paper stuck to the back of it, but it seemed to always be stuck to the back. So you would always have like paper in your mouth. So I always thought these were like the weirdest candy. I told him about them a lot, so we're gonna try it. We'll see if, maybe they improve the technology of the candy buttons in all these years. Maybe the paper doesn't stay on anymore. We'll see. Does the paper feel the same to you? Oh, I think so. It smells good. All right, let's see. Oh, they're already falling off. Nope, see? Look at this. I just got a big piece of paper. So this is like what I would deal with. I'd have to peel it off. Mine's not even coming off. I'm not really big on sweets. So I can't say that I like them, but they do taste the same from what I, see, that's what happens every time. And then you, you like rip it off and there's still just a little tiny bit of paper on the back. There's really nothing you can do about it. Like that. That's not bad. But should be fair, I'm gonna try each color. They probably all taste the same. Definitely not. I think the pink one's my favorite. Overall, it just reminds me of <laughs> what they were like when I was a kid, which is literally, it's just like eating a chunk of sugar. There's really nothing special about the taste of them. I guess it, like the idea was that it was convenient that you'd have like this sheet. You could just throw it in your pocket and just open it up and you'd have all this candy on there. Nicely on there, you could just take it right off. I'm gonna have all of them together. I'm gonna try each color together. You do however you wanna do it. I'm already done because I don't like them. <clears throat> I like them. I don't like the paper on them though, that's annoying. Oh, that's just so sweet. It's so. too sweet with all of them together. Let's go with this. <clears throat> These are from Japan. This is a... These are seaweed flavored crackers. So they're crackers that taste like seaweed, which seaweed is kind of just like really salty. Okay. Oh, wow. They're just little tiny crackers little tiny oh too. that's not what i thought it was gonna be right smells like a cracker can't say i hate it i can see where they get the seaweed flavor Cause it's got like, it kind of tastes like a Ritz cracker at first, but then the aftertaste like hits you like that. And if you didn't know what you were eating, you'd probably be like, man, something's off with this. Those are seaweed flavored crackers from Japan. All right, let's do this weird, weird thing. This is also from Japan. 
and it is the, the, an English translation for this is a DIY chocolate and banana chewing candy. So what makes it DIY? Apparently, according to the back, which this is a product of Japan, you basically make your own little snack out of this. So it's a DIY chocolate and banana chewing candy from Japan. So these is the chewing candy part. And then we've got, uh, why would they only give you one stick? What a jet. I'm going to have to get another, I'm going to have to get another, uh, you can use a toothpick. Yeah, that's what it like is. That's what it is, yeah. All right, so we've got we've got these little, I'm assuming the chewy banana flavored things, and then we've got this little blue pouch. It appears to be okay, it's like a chocolate. Yeah. It's like a chocolate frosting. It actually smells like the chocolate that's in those uh uh those little koala cookies from Japan. We got a little packet of weird looking sprinkles. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but what's weird about it, <laughs> they're just really pale. Like, maybe that's Japan versus American like snacks, where Americans like they expect everything to be all like bright and colorful. And you know, of course, that's not always a good thing because they're using a lot of artificial dyes and stuff to achieve that color. I mean, who knows? Who, who really knows what's in any of this stuff? But it's just odd to see like a candy sprinkle that's like pale like that grab one of these chewy banana things and you stick your toothpick in it like that and then i believe you roll it like this in the chocolate and then you roll it in the sprinkles and you get something that looks like that okay I mean, so, i like banana flavored stuff but i can't say i'm too excited about this these I feel like these are going to taste too much. Like. We'll, we'll find out. So Channing's going to make his and then we'll try it. I'm going to get some at the bottom too. Together. Like I said, I'm not huge on sweets, so don't always take my opinion on stuff like this. You good with yours? Yep. Ready? Cheers. You know, what's interesting is even though it's like excessively sweet, as far as like banana flavored candy goes, this really tastes like a banana. It doesn't have that weird like banana popsicle, like kind of that weird artificial taste. What? I'm just gonna take that bite. I mean, like I said, I don't like sweet stuff, so I'm the wrong person to be like reviewing something like this. But I guess if you like that kind of thing, man, it's really sweet actually. I take back everything I said about it being like really banana flavory, like pure sugar. So here we have. I'm kind of excited to try this. He probably won't know the difference. But these are from United the United Kingdom, these are from the UK. These are Guinness flavored potato chips, which as I'm sure all you viewers know, Guinness is a very popular dark beer. Wow, they don't look like potato chips. They look kind of weird. They kind of look like the ugliest chips that we got. Sort of. All right, grab one. I'm going to start it without you because I'm so excited. Okay, ready? Let's just see. Mine tastes like a regular potato chip to me. I don't really get... That's a weird one. It's full of air. I've never seen a potato chip full of air like that. How does that even happen? Are these real potatoes? Yes, they are.
I mean, I'm trying to figure out where they get this. Looking at the ingredients, which surprisingly is very small. Um, basically, you got potatoes, sunflower oil, which is probably what it's cooked in. Sugar, buttermilk powder, rice flour, reduced fat cocoa powder. So that would be the brown on here is the cocoa powder, which makes sense because Guinness kind of has a chocolatey flavor to it. It's got salt, barley malt extract, which is probably where you get the hoppy taste. And then cream powder, which again, Guinness is kind of a creamy beer. But yeah, A plus. Those are pretty good. We have, <coughs> I'm gonna butcher this. Mi costanita, finest quality. Pica mango con chile limon. <laughs> and translated, that is hot mango with chili and lemon. So I guess what we have here is a mango that's got chili and lemon powder on it. I don't know, but we've had these Mexican candies before. Some of them are pretty good, some of them are not. I didn't like the salted plums. Oh, those were terrible. Check out that video if you didn't see it. And for those of you wondering, it, it literally, normally I would just rip this right there, but it literally says open bottom of package. So I'm just following the directions. I'm opening it from the bottom. Okay. It smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> it doesn't smell like fruit or anything spicy. It kind of smells like Play-Doh, like as if it was in like a lumber store. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take one out and we'll just rip it in half. And we'll each try. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Oh, a little spicy. A little sweet for me. Oh, a little spicy. <laughs> I knew it, it starts getting spicy. You done? <laughs> okay. um, just, like the combination is sweet and spicy. And yeah. Like sweet and spicy things mixed. Yeah, just sweet and spicy mixed. So I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not your thing. <laughs> um, I don't know. The winner of these, I think, are those Guinness chips. Those were pretty good. Either the Guinness chips or the crackers for me. Yeah, the little crackers were pretty good. So. What was the nastiest thing for you? Out of those buttons or that chocolate banana stuff. But, having said that, none of them were really too bad. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with another Scream video, so keep an eye out on that. Till then, see you next time.